So when I consult about the electroculture equipment with a friend of mine who is an electrical engineer for about 40 years, the main point that he stresses to me is insulation at any point where you might have bleed off of your system. I've really been enjoying these mass to mass mounts for my CW1 aerial antennas. They're very quick to put on. They don't really require any drilling. They're pretty inexpensive. I think about 30 bucks. Um, and they just clamp here onto the pole and they clamp here onto your antenna body. And I like to use the gray PVC and just I use three quarter PVC for this three quarter inch pipe. So if it's the half inch uh, pipe for the CW2, you would use half inch gray PVC. And we use the gray because it doesn't photo degrade like white PVC does. And basically any point where your system may contact metal or wood, because wood is conductive when it's wet, you want to insulate. So I had someone asking me earlier today who has an antenna installation going on about these topics and I just wanted to address them because it's super critical. So we're going to have an insulation there. I usually run bare copper wire all the way from the antenna into the ground or to the ground wire which is galvanized. Today I'm going to install, I'm still going to use my um, ceramic insulators that I always use on the pole just because I like keeping that wire in line and keeping it from blowing around. But I'm going to use insulated stranded copper wire today um, just to do something different and show you that there's a lot of options. Again, with the mounting of the CW1s or whatever model, there are other options. You can make a PVC sleeve that slides over and then you just metal strap it or, or zip tie it um, to that PVC. However, this keeps the antenna off of the pole altogether. It gives you a lot of options when you position the rod to magnetic south. Um, and it gives you some variance in positioning and as you can see, this lead wire, where it will couple to the insulated wire, then will run down through the ceramic insulators, where it will meet the ground line that's stubbed out over there, if you can see. So anyways, just a little bit about insulation. It's gonna be critical for your systems to function properly and to capacitate voltage into the soil.